this is Lindsay. We are the co-founders of Kin here at our outdoor movement studio at Amanyara in the Turks and Caicos Islands. We are moving through a 20 minute HIT class. I'm gonna guide you and Lindsay through this practice today that should leave you feeling pretty warm, probably a little bit sweaty and definitely energized. So let's get right into it. Join us on the mat. All right, Lindsay, we're gonna begin with a warm up. So just marching on the spot, knees coming into the belly. Good, so start to engage your core, draw the navel into the spine. Start to point the toes so you can spring off the mat with your feet, that's it. Yeah, we can get the arms moving. Real simple to start. <laughs> we just wanna get some blood flowing. So start to find your breath, maybe it's an even inhale and exhale here. Good, little change. So we're gonna bring the arms into goalpost arms, just keep marching away. And now opposite elbow to opposite knee. So twist, 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 twist. Good, keep going. On the spot, that's it. Squeeze into the belly. Spring off the mat here. Breathe. So you'll exhale as that knee pulls in. So we're starting to really warm the fire in the core. Good, 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stand at the top of the mat, ready for yoga burpees. This will get us nice and warm. Arms go up overhead, inhale. Just one big stretch and we begin. So the hands are gonna plant down on the mat. We step or hop back, lower down, press up and hop the feet forward to the hands. Hop up, all the way up off the mat if you can. Plant the hands, hop back, lower, press, hop forward, hop up. Plant the hands, hop back, lower, Woo. lower. Add that push up, hop forward and up. We'll change it up in a moment. Hop it back, hop it up. Good, plant the hands, hop back, lower, press, hop up. We've got three more like this. Going right in with the power here, guys. Hop up, two, lower, little push up, hop forward, hop up, and one. Lower, hop forward, hop up, pause. Just take a little walk around your mat. You have a 10 to 20 second break here just to catch the breath. So you'll see that that gets the heart rate up right away. And we've got two more rounds to go. Come on back to the top of the mat. This time we're skipping the push up so we can move a little quicker. So here we go, plant the hands down. All you do is hop back into plank, hop forward and hop up. Hop forward, hop up, that's it, hop back. Hop forward and up. Keep going with your breath. Feel free to get a little higher on the hop. That's up to you. This is to your intensity level. You can of course slow down the movement as well. Lindsay's got a nice pace going here. She is going to be breathless with you. <laughs> Let's go three more, just like this. We've got two. Last one and walk it out, walk it out. Take a lap around the mat. Couple big breaths, so really invite those big inhales and exhales. And let's get ready for round three. This is it for the yoga burpees, so let's go for it. Hands plant down, hop back, hop forward, hop up. Find your breath. Good. Good, she's got it. So synchronizing the breath with the movement is gonna help you move through this intense practice. Keep going. Yes, let's go, five. We've got four. Three. Give it everything now, last two. Hop, and last one. Hop, hold, and take a lap. Breathe it out. I'm happy I'm teaching and guiding, has the breath at home. Good, ready to go. So we've got a chair series next. We're gonna begin with the feet separated below the hips. 
Let's just take the arms out in front to begin and lower down into your chair pose. Let's just get our alignment first. So you're sitting back and down with the hips, the knees are stacked over the toes, or you can even sit back a little bit further so you can even see the toes poking out from under the knees. Now all we're doing from chair pose is we're gonna extend the legs and stand, arms by our side. Okay, so we lower, inhale, we exhale as we exert and press up. And press, good. With some pace, right? So stand. Exhale, stand. Good. We got it. Keep going. Nice and powerful in the legs. So we want to feel that strength coming right from the feet and coursing up through the legs. The arms help and so does the breath. Keep going. We've got five. Sit low. Four, three, two, and one. We get to walk around the mat now. Take a breath. Ooh, how's the heart rate? Is it climbing? Climbing. Okay, take a big breath in and out. And meet us back at the top of the mat. Let's get ready for round two of our chair sequence. So lower down into your seat. Let's get the alignment first. From here, we stand up, but we continue rising up onto the balls of the feet. So the heels lift and then drop right back down into the heels and up and lower and up. Yes, you got it. Exhale on the exertion, heels go up. The calves turn on. The quads engage as we lift. The core squeezes in, so we have the support of the whole body. Keep going. Looking good. Heels high for five. Let's go four, three. Adding that element of balance, two. Go one, that's it. Take a walk, take a lap. Big breath in, big breath out. We're getting there. We're getting there. Ready, round three of chair. We're taking it up a notch here, guys. If this is not suited for you, then you're gonna go back to step one, which is just bend, extend. Otherwise, come into chair pose. Instead of standing, we hop. Let's go for a hop lens and land. Hop and land, hop and land. Good, exhale, exhale, exhale. Yes, core goes on. Get springy in those feet, this is it. This is just a 20 minute practice, so this is your time to really shine and give it everything you can. Let's go, three more. Linz is doing great, two and one. That's it, that's it. Yep, find your breath. Like how quickly can we get this heart rate up in this short practice? Big breath in, big breath out. We're gonna slowly move down onto the mat now, guys. We're transitioning down for the rest of the practice. So we're gonna come into a tabletop pose on the mat, hands below the shoulders. Now let's keep the knees down here for round one. We have half push-ups, three rounds with a little break in between in child's pose. So I want you to drop the knees down. Now engage the belly so the navel hugs to the spine. Lean your chest forward a little bit, elbows point back. Lower down two or three inches. Okay, so not even halfway. It's a little tiny push up and then press straight up with the arms. And lower down two or three inches and press. And press. Good, start with us here, guys, at home. Let's go. Press, extend the arms, extend. Yes, like you're pushing the floor away from you. Feel the whole chest light up. Core active, navel to spine. Good, three, two, a little rest coming up. One, child's pose. It's a short break in between. And then we get right back into the work. One more big breath in, low back stretches here. That should feel pretty good. And let's move right back into it. So tabletop pose, lean the heart forward a little more. Keep your knees down. If you want, you can lift them or wait for round three to lift those knees. Let's go, little pumps from here. Exhale, exhale, that's it. Exhale, exhale. Yes, those elbows are in like chaturanga arms, so they're pointing back like headlights. Back of the neck is long. Check out the face and the jaw. Can we keep that relatively relaxed as we do this work? Let's go three more. Two, one, press back, child's pose. Well done. 
Big breath in, big breath out. We're just about done with these push-ups. Let's get ready for round three. So option, knees lifted if you wanna just go for it. Otherwise, if you're feeling really good with the knees down, keep them down, you're getting a lot of work here. You choose, just a tiny little push-up, not even halfway. Little bend in the elbows, chest is forward, here we go. Press, press, push the floor away. Keep the back of the neck long. If the knees are lifted, those hips are in line with shoulders, we've got a nice long line down the back body. Quads are active, core is turned on, whether the knees are lifted or lowered. How are we doing? Let's go. Can we do five? Push four, three, two, and one. Child's pose. Ah. Take a little bend in the elbows, press the palms together and draw the thumbs to the back of the neck just to give those triceps a stretch and release. How are we doing, Lindsay? All right, hope you're good at home. We have one more set of reps coming right into our core. So we're gonna turn ourselves around on our mat so our legs come in front of the body. Roll yourself down onto your spine and legs are extended down the mat. So heels press down into the floor. Now take the fingertips to the back of your head and I want you to curl your shoulder blades up off the mat just to the very bottom of the shoulder blades. So you might even feel those tips of shoulder blades there. And that's as high as we're coming here as we hold. And then the work is in a tiny little pulse up. So chin pokes a hole in the sky. The heels are rooted. The tailbone's rooted. This is the work. Join us when you're ready. This is round one. Little exhale. Core is super active. We're gonna feel this in the upper abdominals, especially. Draw that navel into spine. Nice and long through the neck, relax through the jaw as much as possible. Maybe the elbows go a little wider here to turn on the sides of the waist. Let's go five, four, lift three, two, one, and just come on down. Take a big breath into that center. Let the breath stretch out the muscles and expand the belly space. Take another full inhale and exhale. Good, let's set up again. So when you're ready, exhale, curl those shoulder blades up off the mat, elbows nice and wide, neck long, heels rooted, and here we go. Exhale, pulse up. Tiny little pulse. Keep that belly active, nice, nice little tiny curls here, keep going. So as you press your head into your fingertips, press back a little bit with the fingertips into the back of the head. Okay, keep going, you can of course move slower or quicker than we are setting the pace here. Keep working the breath, we're almost there. Let's go for five, four, curl, three, two, one, rest it out. Everybody rest and relax. Ah, we're very close to finish now, guys. We have just one more round to go here, and then we're gonna stretch and release. Fire's burning. <laughs> can feel it. <laughs> Where's the marshmallow? Okay, round three, <laughs> let's go. Curl the shoulder blades up. This is it, so let's give it everything. Nice, perfect little tight curls. Let's go, exhale. Exhale, exhale, neck is long, jaws relaxed. So we can feel the sacrum on the ground, we can feel those heels rooted. We can feel that fire stoking and burning bright, right in center here. Almost there. Good, lift the chin a little bit more so throat space is open, that's it, perfect, Lindsay, and let's go. Five, lift four, three, two and one, that is it. That does the trick. Relax, relax, relax. Let's take the last few moments to stretch this out. Just take a moment to catch the breath and feel that energy rising in the body. So let's bend the knees and bring the feet onto the mat for bridge pose. And we're gonna do a few bridge lifts just to stretch and open up the front of the hips. And we'll take a chest and shoulder stretch as well here. 
So let's begin with bridge pose. Root down the feet and lift your hips up high to the sky. The neck extends back, the head moves back on the mat. Just feel that initial opening through the hip flexors here, through the front of the hips. Good, and then lower the hips all the way down. And moving a little quicker now with the breath, we're gonna inhale, press the hips high, exhale, lower down. Just a little activation in the glutes, all the way up and lower. Inhale, lift and press through those heels and lower. Inhale, up and lower. Inhale, up and hold, and we've got some pulses here at the top. Okay, so really feel the heels rooted down here, tiny little up with the hips. Remember the back of the neck is long. Lift, 10, nine, eight, glutes active, seven, six, five, four, three, hold at the top, two and one. Hold it there, hold it there. Now if you can, let's start to roll the arm bones underneath the body and clasp the hands behind us. So you can press down through the pinky edges of the hands. That should feel pretty good through the front of the shoulders and chest after those push-ups. Long breath in and out. So a little fiery here in the glutes and the hamstrings. Take one more big breath in and then let those arms roll from underneath you, back beside you and roll your spine down. So take the hips down to the mat. And stretch the arms out long like airplane wings. Let's take a final twist here to ring out after this 20 minute hit. So knees drop to the left then take your gaze over the right arm. And we're just relaxing here. So just letting that weight go, letting the knees drop down. Just let gravity do its thing. Quick little restore here at the end. And inhale and bring the knees through center and let them drop over to the right. As you turn the gaze over the left arm and then just soften and surrender. It's important to balance this yang energy practice out with a little yin, at least a little yin at the end. Just enjoy this softening, this relaxing. Gently bring the knees back and we're gonna hug those legs in over the belly. Give ourselves a squeeze, so wrap the arms around the legs. And curl the forehead towards the knees, rounding through the whole upper spine. And then just tucking the hands under the knees, we're gonna rock and roll our way up into seated to close the practice. Good. All right, so well done everybody at home. How are you feeling? Good. All right, so if you, yeah, if you enjoyed this practice, we have many more over at kin.co, so come find us there and we'll love to have you in class again. Have a good day. Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here. If you're enjoying what we're sharing, please give us a like and you can also subscribe to this channel below. And if you want to follow us along on this journey, you can find us at kin.co or on Instagram at kinsite.